VR Sports Powerboat Racing was met with much criticism when it was released in 1998 on both the Windows PC and on the PlayStation. The game was scheduled to have ports on both the Nintendo Game Boy Color and N64 but were later cancelled. Seeing the game giving you access to a variety of 16 different types of racecraft with different engine sizes and handling physics. The game also utilises varying water physics causing the boats to handle differently due to turbulence and other boats surrounding the player. One of the game's main unique aspects was the four player split screen support so that you could play with your mates but the game didn't fare well in reviews. It definitely was criticised on many fronts with the dodgy physics handling even the graphics the camera what one of the main drawbacks was criticized for was the dramatic pop-up of obstacles and the environmental elements with walls and even tunnels that wouldn't literally appear until you were almost on top of them making it impossible to figure out where you're supposed to go so that caused and contributed to a lot of the game's downfall as it just felt somewhat unfinished it does have some nice ideas but i think it just wasn't executed as well as it could have been now it's not to say that it's a bad game it is playable but it will take some time to get familiar with the physics and the controls and it will require quite a few tries just to get a feel for the game to get the most out of it probably the best experience you can have with it would definitely be playing it with your mates in the multiplayer mode but i think as well too it's not all bad when you really think about it it does have like i said some unique features problem with it is is that when the game came out unfortunately every single game of this type that was available at the time was massively compared to wave race 64 which was one of the first ever games released on the Nintendo 64 console which literally blew everything out of the park literally as that was a very very popular game a very addictive game and in many ways it single-handedly set the standard for all water sports games moving forward Nintendo had already done that previously with Super Mario 64 that set the blueprint for platform games moving forward as it was the best of its kind and probably is still considered as the best of its kind today in many respects as every game that you see in that category is modeled off of it unfortunately games in terms of water sports didn't model themselves the same way compared to wave race 64 as they'd always usually tried to go a different route so they never used that blueprint and as a result it was always heavily criticized i don't think there was anything really you could have done in that respect developers always wanted to try their own thing and they didn't always want to be compared to that game but unfortunately that's where magazines would always contribute the influence to is they would always go back to the great effects of wave race 64 and the addictive nature of the game so it literally left that any water sports game that came out after it virtually had no chance of success at all so it always fade into the wilderness because every game like i said that came out was compared to that game and then if it wasn't good it was just literally left to fall by the wayside and that's pretty much what happened with all of these games unfortunately which in many ways i think is wrong but at the same time i can also agree with some of the arguments is made with regards to some of the gameplay features because there is certain gripes and glitches in these games that do contribute to why the games failed in the first place like i genuinely don't like to slate games or be negative about them but sometimes there's just certain elements of games that are there are plain to be seen and you cannot avoid them but truthfully at the end of the day it really is down to the individual you make up your own experiences as you go yes it's not the best water sports racing game there are better ones out there this game can be quite difficult to master and get to grips with the computer ai is also another issue as well because they can be heavily aggressive and even when you do get ahead of them you will virtually never get away from them you'll never be able to build up any sort of a lead because they're always there all the time and in many cases even if you have passed them they're constantly always passing you literally within a second they just get suddenly get a speed burst and they're always passing you so in many ways it requires a lot of luck and trying to block them from passing you in many regards so hoping that they get stuck on the wall or an environmental hazard or something like that in order for you to win a race which does take away from the experience because in many ways you'd like to think that you can win a race due to your own skill but this game doesn't really contribute or allow you to really achieve that in many regards now there are, there are opportunities and there will be elements like i was able to do where you can win races and once you master certain elements you can do it but it requires you to put in a lot of time and effort in order to achieve those results and not everybody's going to be willing to do that in fairness they're not but unfortunately it is what it is it's just another one of those games that had a lot of ideas but just could have been better in many respects it's not to say that it's the worst game of its kind out there but it's most definitely not the best but it is playable and i suppose for those that are willing to put time into it will find some enjoyment out of it but again it requires that you put in time and be patient with it to achieve that but i would love to know your thoughts of this game if you have played 
played it yourself and what do you think of it overall do you enjoy these quirky and obscure water sports games or do you avoid them altogether so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you would like to see more content around other types of games like this that were also released on the playstation then you can check out the playlist on screen to see more of those games in action and as always keep those gaming memories alive